Hello my friends, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be providing an update on the state of Komorebi for Mac. Komorebi originally was a tiling window manager for Windows. It is now a cross-platform tiling window manager that can be used on Windows and Mac OS. First up, let's talk about using the mouse. One of my favorite features in Komorebi for Windows is that you can just drag a window over another one and release the mouse to exchange their positions. And we can now do this in Komorebi for Mac. Works exactly as you would expect it to. Pretty cool. In addition to that, you can now also drag to resize. So you drag with your mouse, you let go, and the layout adjusts. I don't really use the mouse too much personally, but when I do, it's to do one of these two things. And you know, you can resize by the keyboard shortcuts like I'm doing now. You can move things around with the keyboard shortcuts like I'm doing now. But sometimes you just need to reach for the mouse. And so now it is possible to do that on Komorebi for Mac. One of the most important things for me when I talk about having a cross-platform tiling window management experience is being able to use the same configuration file, whether I'm on Windows, whether I'm on Mac OS. So now it's possible to load the very same komorebi.json file from Komorebi for Windows on Komorebi for Mac. And here you can see this is the configuration file that I am using. Pretty much the same configuration file that I have on my Windows machine. Uh, most, I would say 90% of the options are supported. The ones that are not supported won't cause a crash or anything like that. You can literally just pick up your Komorebi.json file from Windows and drop it on your Mac machine. It'll do what you expect it to do. You may have noticed on this video things are looking a little bit more aesthetic. And that is in no small part due to having the Komorebi bar now running on macOS. It's really cool. It's pretty much fully functional does exactly what you would expect it to do. You can switch workspaces and you can see in the top left it's going to change. You can click on the one you want to change to. Uh, you can see that the theme is generated based on the background wallpaper. And of course, all of the configuration is compatible. I pretty much just picked up my Komorebi bar configuration from Windows. I dropped it onto my Mac Mini, uh, and it's working. It is working. I'm really, really happy with this. Um, it will, of course, be possible to integrate with Sketchy Bar and other bars through the use of subscriptions and hooks. Uh, but for people who want something simple and aesthetic that just works out of the box, uh, this has proven to be a hit on Windows. I hope it will also be a hit on Mac OS. Keeping on the theme of aesthetics, let's talk about borders. So, Komorebi for Mac plays pretty nicely with janky borders, uh, as you can see here. Uh, it's really nice. It works. Super performant. You can run the same borders command that you would run if you were using Yabai or Aerospace or anything else like that. However, it is now also possible to use Komorebi's built-in border manager for window borders. And you can see it gives you color options for focused windows and unfocused windows, but it also gives you color options for the monocle window. So you can see this monocle window has a different border color that gives you that visual feedback that this is a monocle container. Uh, you can also create a window stack and you can see here on the left, I have my focused uh, window container. It only has a single window in there. If I move over to the right, this is my container stack consisting of Westerm and of another Zen browser window. 
and it has its own border color. Very cool. I like that. It's a little thing that makes a really big difference. I don't think I could live without it anymore. Um, let me know in the comments, is this something that you miss if you're a Kamal Rebbe or Windows user when you go to other platforms and use other tiling window managers and other border apps? Let me know in the comments. In order to provide a better out-of-the-box experience, the Kamal Rebbe application-specific configuration library now contains a growing list of macOS rules. So instead of having to go and create all of these rules every time you want to switch Tiling Window Manager, if you switch to Kamal Rebbe, you'll have a bunch of just really good, sane, out-of-the-box rules that will keep improving, that will just keep improving as time goes on, as more and more people use the software. There are 3,000 lines of rules uh, for Kamal Rebbe for Windows. Uh, I'm sure with how passionate Mac OS users are, we'll be able to match that or maybe even improve on that uh, before very long after the first public release. As you can see, this is, this is pretty much working now. Um, I am daily driving this. I rarely have to touch it. It has almost everything that I care about implemented. Um, I would say 90% of the static configuration uh, schema is supported on macOS. The behavior is the same. The look and the feel is mostly the same. I think this is, I think this is ready for technical users to daily drive. Um, we also have some docs now in the, in the docs directory, we have a, uh, a quick start at getting started, all of that stuff. Uh, the example configurations, all of that has been updated for Mac OS uh, in this repo. And so this repo is still private. Uh, as I mentioned in the last videos, this is being developed in private until I'm ready for a public release. If you're somebody who would like early access, uh, early access is available to sponsors on the A tier and S tiers. Uh, we have a couple people using it, daily driving it already, which is really cool, which is really, really cool. I, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. Let me say I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, getting good feedback. Uh, there are some bugs here and there that I'm squashing when they get reported. Um, that feedback is, is very, very valuable, um, but it's not overwhelming right? Because there's so few people compared to uh, the people using Kamal Rebbe for Windows. Like I can count them on one hand. And so that's nice, not too stressful. And I just get to enjoy the process. I get to enjoy the process. And that's something that I have missed. I've really missed a lot when it comes to programming. All right, my friends, uh, that is everything for this video. Stay tuned for more information, more updates, more news. Um, yeah, I hope we can get a first release of this out before the end of the year. Stay tuned. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day. Free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.